Enjoying an incredible surge in popularity since the release of their latest album, The Real Thing, San Francisco's Faith No More have finally decided to capture their live magic on video. Here they are doing just that at London's Brixton Academy. We've been playing, uh, actually, the name Faith No More since 1983. And uh, we've put out, yeah, three records. The first one was about 1985. We didn't come over here to uh, Britain until about 1987 and we've done about six tours. So, uh, but it's strange thing enough is that we weren't really thought of as a rock band, a metal band, or whatever. So, I think a lot of people are hearing us for the first time because uh, rock, the rock crowd's kind of getting into us. We just got a new singer about a year and a half ago and made this record, and that's about it. Haven't been, haven't been home much after that. Been touring a lot. We were dissatisfied with what had been happening previous to that, previous to the change, and we knew we had to make a change. So I think, I think making that change really helped us get, I don't know, it's like cleaning out an old closet that needs to be cleaned out. You're much happier after you've done it. We really have had most success in the beginning in the UK, even not so much Europe. Uh, but, but specifically, the UK has been the best to us for the longest. I think a good thing about the UK is I think there's a lot of people that uh, listen to a lot of different kinds of music. I think you can even rock, you know, the hardest rock crowd. You know, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see a Commodore's record, you know. Around Christmas time, the Grammy nomination that came out, you know, put our name on a lot of people's lips. It was in a lot of papers. That coupled with touring with Metallica three months before that, and you know a lot of a lot of things. It was great fun uh, touring with Metallica. Uh, we've known them for a while, so you know we're, we're friends and stuff. And it was like a camping trip or something. It's great. Right now we have a lot of freedom to do whatever we want and uh, go in any direction we want because we're getting attention from Top of the Pops, uh, Metal Forces. You know we're, we're getting, we've got a really wide range, and that's it's a real comfortable position to be in because. You know, basically, we're musicians and we like to play, and our shows, you know, are events that we like, you know, to create a, a really good time. And uh, it's not a, it's not a funk show, you know. Go see some funk music and dress up like a, you know, a rap artist, or it's not some metal show, you know. Or you, you know, it's just, it's just, we do whatever we want, and we have a good time doing it, and that's why our shows are so much fun. We never realized that making videos meant get up at 7 o'clock in the morning, you have to be there by 8, and then we start filming by about 4 in the afternoon. And it's uh, really interesting to see the reactions of the other guys when it's about 12, 1 o'clock, and we played a gig the night before, and we realized that uh, it's going to be another three hours before we film the video. People get mad, people spit all over the deli trays, and uh, it's generally uh, complain and bitch at each other. Uh, I don't like making videos very much, because... Uh usually you have to wait around for a long time and then you do a little bit of something and it's always really fake. Videos are, uh, in my opinion, a very big pain in the rear end. Um, they invariably take too much time, cost too much money, and are too frustrating. Uh, I don't like the process of making videos at all because I think it's kind of fake where you gotta play to a song that you've already done, and uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of making videos. I like to make movies, so I like to see the way the camera crews work, and you know, kind of, it's interesting to me. Videos in general are interesting. It's pretty fake to sit up there and, you know, play to your own song, but you know, it's no big deal. We're all prostitutes. It's especially difficult if you're trying to make a video and do a bunch of other things at the same time. Um, it's better to do, I think, one thing well and save the other things for another day and do them well too than try to do everything at once. What we're doing today is filming, we're filming a home video, which is great because that's going to be us live on stage with the recording, you know, of the live music and stuff at a nice place, this lovely place we're at here. But they're trying to, you know, they want to, we want to throw in a little bit that'll be included on the next uh, promotional, you know, single video. And it makes, it makes for a long day. I think that the next record is going to be more extreme. Uh, <clears throat> more extreme in a, in a lot of different ways. Uh, they, there'll be more extremes. They'll be more heavier, harder, and they'll be a lot softer, nicer. Uh, a lot of different moods. 
I mean, we're not going to put out a record with just one mood because I, I don't see the point personally. Do 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 do.